Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland. Tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland. Promise of things to come. Adventureland. The wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. And he made the trails, opened up the land. And he gave America a mighty helping hand. And he's on the move, and he won't rest. And he burned it, he's a traveling west. And now your host, Walt Disney. In reliving the adventures which make up the saga of Andy Burnett. We've already followed Andy from his home in Pittsburgh to the heart of the Rocky Mountains. Last week we saw Andy and the veteran mountain men who are his partners fall into the hands of the dreaded Blackfeet. Now let's see what happens when, in order to save their lives, Andy resorts to white man's medicine. Andy's on the moon. My brother the sun, good morning, my sister the mountains, good morning, my friends the black feet. Good morning, white brother of the sun. I want water from the creek. It is permitted. Go. Seems like you're getting a little more friendly. Don't let it go to your head, none. We're still the first live Black Pete prisoners I ever heard tell of. It can't last. Well, it probably wouldn't interest you smelly old hibernates, but I'm going down to the creek to wash up for breakfast. <laughs> Brothers of the Sun can do things we can. Some more Burnett's blame fool greenhorn luck. Well, anyway, Andy will fetch up all the water he needs. Just a minute, Joe. Is an old veteran like you going to depend on a newcomer to the mountains like Burnett for the water you drink? Well, I ain't got no choice. Andy here is on speaking terms with these here black feet, and I ain't. Well, that telescope lens worked pretty well for him. Maybe we can make a little magic of our own. Let's have that trade mirror, Joe. Me? Yeah, the one you keep in your pocket. <laughs> oh, Jack, what in tarnation I want a little old mirror. Come on. You've been a primping and a preening with it ever since that fat mama see the dance with you down at Taos. Hand it over. Jack, you're getting downright insulting. I said hand it over. The next thing you know, he'll be uh, using our drinking whiskey for colony water. I don't need you to learn me what to do with whiskey, Bill Williams. He is brother of the sun. I also. 
also am brother of the sun, and him, and him, all the same as him, all brothers of the sun. See, I hold the sun in my hands. Jack, you may be educated and book read and all that, but it comes to speech making, you just ain't worth nothing. You gotta do her big and important like here, I'll show you. He speaks true. We're all brothers of the sun. But hear me, mighty Blackfeet. This one is little brother. No scalps in his belt, no feathers in his hair. But us, we are all heap big brothers of the sun. Almost as big as old man's son himself. Real he coons of the trade. More scalps and needles on a pine tree. More feathers, the eagle. All right, you wooden-headed porcupines, if you're gonna be stubborn, try this for a convincer. Show it up! Chief Matasuki wants you. Come. What about my friends? I will see to them. I don't like his looks. You sure ain't no example of brotherly love. Medicine men are next to the chief when it comes to giving orders. You better go along like you're told. What's going to happen to you? I got a notion that kind of depends on you. Yeah, and if you mess it up, I ain't ever going to forgive you. Go along with them, Andy, and see what they want. All right. But you mind your manners till I get back. Attack him, then. Make some blame fool mistake, or you get yourself killed for it as a chance. It is true you are a white man? It is true. The time has come to decide. What must be done with you? White men are enemies. Blackfeet know how to deal with enemies. It is said, you have the power of the mighty sun spirit. You saw me call down the fire of the sun with my hand. We saw, but we do not believe. The chief of the Blackfeet does not believe his own eyes. In the land of the Blackfeet are many evil spirits. They blind even the eyes of wise men to the truth. Mad Wolf says, your medicine is evil. Mad wolf lies. I have made my medicine. Now you make yours. Call on the sun to light this fire, and we will see who lies. You say you worship the sun spirit. Yet you would have me bring him into a lodge fit only for the meeting place of men. The mountains are the walls of the Sun Spirit's lodge, and the sky is his roof. 
If you must have his sacred fire, I'll build it only where the sun himself can see. Sun Spirit, send your fire to your brother. Thank you, great Sun Spirit. Thank you. There you are. How do you like that from medicine? I see. And I believe. What does our maker of medicine say? I also see. I also believe. This one is truly brother to the sun. Let all hear this. I, Mad Wolf, say it is so. That takes care of me, all right. What about my friend? You have given us the sacred fire. It will tell us if the other white men are of the sun or not. Hey, now, wait just a minute. the sun. Oh, great sun spirit, send down your fire. What you got in mind, boy? Listen close and do what I say. You haven't got a prayer, boy. A prayer is just about all we've got. E-I-E-I-O, the flames is getting mighty high. E-I-E-I-O, we are all too young to die. E-I-E-I-O, make it quick, it's getting hot. E-I-E-I-O, oh, hair is thin, but it's all I got. E-I-E-I-O, the thongs are now beginning to burn. E-I-E-I-O. Oh, oh, there she goes. I might have known he couldn't get away with a stunt like this. Good try anyway, Andy. You ought to be happy for once, Bill. You always wanted to go out with your boots and your hat on. Yeah, but I didn't figure on going out like a hog on a spit. Cheer up, here she comes. Try it again, Andy. Huh? Hey. Get ready to heave when I give the word, E-I-E-I-O, with a one, two, three, and a heave, ho! And a one, two, three, and a heave, ho! And a one, two, three, and a heave, ho! Hey, are you sleep off. A little demonstration ought to take care of most of them for a spell. As for you, you old cat, if you need a further sample, I'll be glad to take care of you personally. I'm surprised you, Joe, treating a real important feller like this here that way. I seen one of your boys with my old pony out yonder. Bring him here. 
Tashuke Opal. Ain't nobody ever learned you not to pet no rattlesnakes. Now, hold on, Joe. I know what I'm doing. He's dead set against us, Bill. You're wasting your time. When I want your advice, Burnett, I'll ask for it. You can have mine for free. Now, leave me alone. I've been looking for somebody to pull this stunt on ever since I bought that hammerhead clean back in St. Louis. Now, we ain't trying to run down your medicine none, Mad Wolf. Chances are it's a pretty good grade of the stuff. There is no other medicine in the land of the Blackfeet. That's what I was saying. Wouldn't surprise me if you turned out to be a kissing cousin to the sun god yourself. I am the sun's chosen priest. Fine. Now, this pony is real special. Fact is, man has to be in real good with the sun spirit, even to ride him. Going to give him to you. A gift on the prairie? On the prairie. No strings attached. You tried to kill me. He is a devil horse. No man can ride him. No faker can. But you just watch me. That really shine, Bill. It really did. First time I ever saw any reason for your putting up with that contrary hunk of bear. We better get ourselves straightened out while they're in the right mood. How about us now, Chief? Can we stay here as friends of the Blackfeet and trap for fur? This is not a thing for a chief to decide alone. It is a matter for the whole tribe. How long will we have to wait? It will be taken up at the time of the next big council. Until then, you will not be harmed if you do not enter our lodges or try to leave our camp. I have spoken. The chief has spoken, and we hear. But we don't hear enough. What about our belongings and some food? Now you're talking, Andy boy. If he hasn't said too much. We will keep your weapon. The rest will be returned to you. Good. Oh, kick it up. Oh. This big council, when you reckon they'll hold it? Uh, whenever it suits Mad Will's fancy. He's the medicine man of the boss in these matters. And you can bet he won't call it until he's got the pole all greased first. Well, at least ways we got him on a run for now. Come on, Andy, it's your turn to cook. This is one breakfast I'm sure gonna enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Father. Well, what are we playing? Good morning, Mother. 
mother. I've been looking for you, Kayasak. hunting again. No luck still? No game? cooking on yesterday? Yep, and the day before that. We're sure living high on the hog, ain't we? Eighteen days. Almost three weeks and no sign of them holding their big council yet. Well, you'd do a sight better if you'd fix yourself some sort of weapon instead of moping around tying knots on a string. And that goes for the rest of you, too. I never knew a man that liked the dark side of things as much as you do, Bill. Well, pay me no never mind, but I've said it before and I'll say it again, that the only way we're going to get ourselves out of this mess is fight our way out. Wish I was sure what was the matter with him. Well, it ain't nothing we done. They ain't giving us a chance to get out of line. Listen, Burnett's been tromping on their toes while he's been traipsing around out yonder. What do you mean, sure, Andy? You got an idea? Just a hunch. A what? The buffalo? What buffalo? Ain't been a sign of a herd in the valley in weeks. That's what I mean. Another hunting party just came in empty-handed. There's not a sign of fresh meat in this whole camp. Well, there is. They sure ain't been giving us any lately. You know, that could be the reason they haven't held the big council they promised us. Yeah. They don't never sit down to nothing serious, less than they can have a celebration and a big feast along beside it. My hunch is Mad Wolf's persuaded them their bad hunting is all our fault. Of course, I ain't no official spirit like you, and. I don't know all there is to know about engines, but I can tell you one thing for sure, Burnett. You're talking through your hat. That's the only thing I can think of. Feller ought to try to figure out everything they can in this country, Andy, but well, maybe you'd better leave out guessing them redskins to us old hands. Yeah, a mountain man gets to where he knows precisely what an engine's a thinking, but it takes a passel of time, and boy, you ain't there yet. <laughs> Just what was it you old hands were saying? Take it easy, Bill. This ain't no time to be starting no ruckus. A week's work shot, and she's just shaping into a first-class scalp of mine. Shut up, Bill. You better do the talking. What brings our friends to our lodge? Where are the buffalo? I have asked the sun. The sun has told me. White men have driven off the buffalo. See how the chief stands. The Blackfeet have heard Mad Wolf's lies before. What do you want of us? Find the buffalo. Our hearts are heavy because there's hunger in your lodges. We will help our friends. We'll find the buffalo. Come, we'll ask the sun. You're not a hydrophobia squirrel making a promise like that. Can you or Kelly or old Bill find your buffalo for him? Why, they ain't a man in the mountains, red or white, that can guarantee and find buffalo. Then you just gotta leave it to me. Well, if you don't pull this off, we're gone beaver for sure. We're gone beaver if I don't try, too. Oh, great sun spirit, send down your fire. Yeah. 
of the Blackfeet old and worn out that they must ask how far they must ride for meat? The smoke points toward the land of the Cinnaboyne. The Cinnaboyne are our enemies. Do Blackfoot hunters fear the enemy? Easy now, Burnett. You keep on rubbing their fur the wrong way, they won't care whether you find them any meat or not. Do you know a better way to handle this? Then keep out of it. To hunt in enemy country means war. There's honor in war. There is also death in war. The last time we met, the Assiniboines and white men, and white men's guns killed many of us. You have white friends. Give us back our guns and take us with you. We will make you strong. White men look only for a chance to escape. Are the Blackfeet cowards, or do they send their women to hunt for them? Pictures. We will make the hunt, but if the hunters return without meat, we will see if it is the flight feet or the white men who are women. You. Well, that's just about all we needed to get ourselves strung up for buzzer tech. Some things are best left to men with the experience to deal with them. Time you learned that, Burnett. You'd think I'd signed our death warrants or something. Just might be you have. I never saw you reading before. I've been trying to tell you for some time, Burnett, there's a lot of things in these here mountains that you ain't never seen before. Well, it's the Bible. Well, is there any law again it? What's eating you? Of course not. It's just that somehow the good book and old Bill Williams just don't... <laughs> I suppose you favor something else, like them high flute and yarns and books of fancy learning that Kelly's always reading. What do you call them, Jack? The classics. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Burnett. A mule load of them there classics ain't got half the hoss sense in them that you'll find in this here book right here. I know that. You don't know nothing. I've read the good book as much as you have. It sure don't show none. Look here, Bill Williams. Now listen, you two. If you don't stop stepping each other like a couple of wild-eyed bobcats, I'm gonna take you and bang your heads together. Oh, no, you don't. Why, here's a solid bone and it pop my skull like an eggshell. Stop it, Bill. Burnett did as good as he could out there. Yeah. Maybe them Blackfeet get enough game to fill their bellies while we'll be out of trouble. Leastways, until after they hold their big council. What if they find a Cinnaboyne war party instead of me? Well, they might lose a few scouts. Yeah, and what chance are we gonna have for their big council then? No, that's not Burnett's fault. Well, he could at least sent them hunters in some other direction, couldn't he? Yes, and we could have left him back in St. Louis and not brought him along with us at all. I thought of that, too. That's what fries my hide. Well, if I'd have known what a cantankerous, whining old troublemaker the great Bill Williams was, I'd have never joined you. You can bet your shirts on that. <laughs> Let the white man hear me. The hunt will be made in this way. You and the old one will go with Mad Wolf. 
Kiev Tech and the hunters. You will show them the buffalo. The other two white men will stay. <laughs> Cut them down, now, or there won't be any hunt. We'll give you your horses to ride in the hunt. You might try to escape. They stay, so you will return. You find a buffalo, white man, and bring back meat. If you fail, you and the old one will be strung up with them until the sun has taken your spirits and dried the flesh from your bones. You leave them strung up like that till we get back? The sun will give you a short hunt, or your friends will die. It may take days to find game. The rawhide is green and has long been soaked in water. Such rawhide shrinks much as it dries. The sun himself will lift them from Mother Earth and take them. Pray to your brother the sun for a swift return. Pray for your friend. Some white men do not die easily. You bet we don't die easy. You red devils would rather do a death dance for a white man than eating the slower it goes the better. Why, if I had me so much as a scalping knife and one real mountain man beside me, I'd learn a lot of you not to mess with old Bill Williams' partners. That'll do you no good, Bill. Look who's a giving me advice. Hey, Apple. Hey, they've given me back my bow. Ain't got a thing to worry about then, have we? Hey, Andy. Mind you, don't go picking out no old bull for our table. My teeth ain't what they used to be. Fine shape to leave a pair of partners in, ain't it? I sure hope you feel proud of yourself. They're going up. <laughs> the fella down in St. Louis once asked me how come mountain men always seem to stand so straight. Blame fool, I wish he could see us now. Maybe it'd catch on. Sight, Andy, don't you, Joe? Yeah, it seems like. You ever married, Joe? No. I was just thinking. If Molly had lived, we'd have had us a boy, just about at his age. He's with old Bill, and he's a slippery old cuss. And they got their horses. You think they'll make a break? <sighs> They're fools if they don't try. Yeah. How long do you suppose it takes this raw hide to dry enough to do its job? A day and a half. Maybe two. How about you telling me a story that Maybe you haven't told me a hundred times before. Huh. 
Well, it seems like there were two old hibernators out traipsing around the mountain trying to make the fortune trapping beaver fur, and they ran into some blackfeet, and they got strung up by the thumbs, and they... That's the two days. Maybe three. Ain't very funny, though, is it? It's funny enough. Your medicine is good. Come, there is not much time to get back before your friends die. What do you think, Bill, about Joe and Kelly? Look at the sun. You may have found buffalo, but you like a long ways of getting meat yet, let alone getting back. No chance for him. Well, it wasn't when we started out. That's what I tried to tell you. I know. Listen, when a hunt starts, don't wind your horse. Just watch your chance for breaking and go as hard as you can. One of us has got to get clear. You take care of yourself, Burnett, and I'll try to take care of me. And I make clear. It's done. It's done. And I make clear. Say go okay. Say go okay. Only a woman rides to a hunt without weapons. I'd do a sight better with your knife. You can't get a buffalo with that. Are you going to tend your own business or ain't you? Take a girl, meet a chef. Take a chef. chance to make your break. You told me to mind my business, now you mind yours. I came after me, and that's what I'm gonna get. What about them? If they are scouts, they'll head back for their main party. Maybe we can get done and get out of here before they get back.
We are not white men who kill for sport. We have enough meat to feed our people. Good. Besides, they make a stampede. Look. Hey, that's old Bill's horse. mistakes about you in the past, Burnett, but don't you make none about me. From here on out, you and Bill Williams as partners, I whoop the man that says it ain't true.
You have kept your promise. Now the Blackfeet keep theirs. Until the big council decides what must be done with you, you are the guest of my people. They hate to have put up. What the chief says is always so. It is the law. You two old hive and it's all right? The most upstanding characters you'll ever see. They didn't torture you, did they? Well, I don't know what you'd call this, but otherwise, no. How things go with you and Bill? I'll let them do their bragging later. What I want to know is how you found them buffalo. It was the dad blatantest thing you ever seen. We just followed in the direction that smoke took, and there they was. Any sign of the Assiniboine? Some scouts. Main party trailing? Well, if they did, leastways they didn't catch us. You folk! been generous to the black feet. This is your share of the meat. You fall. Don Father, how about that buffler? How'd you know they was out there? I didn't. There's so much game in this country, I figured we'd run into it sooner or later, whatever direction we took, or the smoke did. You mean that was all it was between Jack Kelly and me hanging by our thumbs the rest of our natural lives? You call that being a partner? I don't care what you calls it. That's what he is, and I don't want no argument from you, Joe Crane. Oh, now, look here, Bill William. Just because you're going to mate up with them, don't go try to pit no fight with Hold it, me. hold it, hold it. Andy, fetch a hump river, too. Maybe a beta grub will do something to improve the disposition of these ornery old hybrids. To up and pack and go. Lucky for us, a few men yet. Remember the saga of Andy Burnett. And he made the trails, opened up the land. And he gave America a mighty helping hand. And he's on the move, and he won't rest. Andy Burnett, he's a traveling west.